good morning good afternoon and good evening friends depending upon wherever you are in the world today we are going to study the concept of short circuit and open circuit so for that i have drawn two circuits here so we have on the left hand side a concept showing short circuit and another circuit which is on the right hand side which is this one showing the concept of open circuit so let's start step by step let's start with the short circuit so what is a short circuit so short circuit is when two points are connected together by a thick metallic wire so if we see this example or this circuit on the left hand side here point a and point b are connected by a metallic wire hence this is called as short circuit so we have this uh, this remaining circuit can be anything on our, our left hand side that's why i have marked it as a rest of the circuit in a block we have point a and b those are connected by a metallic wire hence this is called as short circuit also since the resistance of this metallic wire is practically zero right since short has practically zero resistance or the thick metallic wire has practically zero resistance we know by ohm's law v equal to i into r which is in this case i is isc because isc means short circuit current or iab ab means current flowing from a to b right so ir is equal to isc into zero why zero because the resistance of metallic wire is practically zero then that's why voltage becomes zero so basically voltage across these two points becomes vab equal to zero what is the second expression second expression again by ohms law we know short circuit current is equal to v by r so since we have r is equal to zero here it becomes infinity uh, theoretically for calculation purposes because we have zero at the denominator so what we learned today for short circuit so short circuit whatever may be on your like the rest of the circuit doesn't matter if you have two terminals and if you are shorting them then current flowing through them those two points is theoretically infinity resistance of rab is zero and hence voltage across a and b is zero that's the concept of short circuit okay so if you understood what is short circuit then let's go and understand what is open circuit so what is open circuit so when two points sorry two points are said to be open circuited when there is no direct connection between them so let's see the diagram here right or the circuit so whatever may be the circuit here i am just showing it as a block it doesn't matter what matters is these two terminals so here there is no physical connection between a and b here for the short circuit we had the physical connection with metallic thick metallic thick wire but there is no connection it's open so since it is open we have resistance equal to infinity which is theoretically here it was connected and it has theoretical resistance is zero or practical resistance was zero here since it is open there is no connection resistance becomes infinity so if resistance is infinity then since there is no connection there will not be any current so that's what the concept of open circuit since open represents infinite resistance so reb so basically resistance across point a and b is infinite and current flowing through ab is zero because resistance is infinity there is no current there is no path for current hence open circuit in open circuit current flowing through the terminals is zero so if we understood both short circuit and open circuit let's understand their comparison right so if we compare these two circuits we will see the resistance is the main difference on the short circuit side resistance is zero on open circuit side resistance is infinity right on the short circuit side voltage is zero on open circuit side current is zero which is very very important concept so these are the differences between short circuit and open circuit theoretically the short circuit current is infinity in case of short circuit and in case of open circuit resistance is infinity but the current is zero 
and if we want to find out what is V A B, so we know again by Ohm's law V equal to I into R. So we know V, we know R is infinity. So V A B, if you want to calculate, that will be infinity as well because the resistance is infinity. So I hope you guys understood the difference between short circuit and open circuit and the main concept of short circuit and open circuit. So friends, I'm going to close this lecture at this point. Please let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Thank you and have a great day.